Oven Podcast. Your table is ready. You can follow me. All right, so I'm going to vent quick. I'm gonna, I need to vent. I've heard about this for the last two hours. <laughs> I, I don't know what he's about to vent about, but I'm here for it. If you are the guy that comes in the sauna and you're fully clothed and you look at me and you go, you mind if I throw more on? And you dump the whole fucking bucket on? And then you leave one minute later, fuck you. When I'm in there and I'm sweating out all the Molly I did in 2012, it, it like Jesus. you look at me and you look at my face and you know that I don't want you to put any water on. Well, do you ever think maybe he's just trying to help you? No, he's being selfish. He wants a warm up quick instead of going on the treadmill and warming up. So he's gonna warm up for a minute in the sauna, dump the whole water on when I'm trying to stay in there for thirty minutes. What do you what do you wear in the sauna? Oh, I'm boxer. Sometimes just a towel, nothing on. Sometimes you <laughs> Oh my god, dude. What's I, wrong with that? I can't wait to like wear like eighty five and you're the old man in synergy just with his nuts hanging on the on the when he's getting weighed in. You remember that when we used to lift? Well, that was, where was that? That was actually Bally's, wasn't it? I felt bad for this ten year ten year old the other day. He's in the he's in the locker room with his dad, and this one old man is standing right next to him, and it's just straight bush with army cap sticking out, just like the tiny <laughs> penis with the just hanging out the bush. And I was like, I feel so bad for this little kid right now. You just see him peeking over. You're like, oh god. Remember when we used to go to Bally's and we would be lifting like we your dad would take us right from what was the seventh grade, sixth grade. We'd be wearing jeans. Hollister t-shirts. Mario would have a, a uh, what do you call that? A little shark necklace. The little, the little clam. I, the little puka necklace. Yes, thank you. The little puka necklace on his. <laughs> I was big on the shark tooth too. Big on the shark tooth. I know. And now, and now it's an Italian horn instead. I used to love that though. We would go, and that's when. So I don't really mean to bring this up, but when Mario got popped back in the day at the handball courts, he uh, he wound up breaking his orbital, and the next, the next night, the movie Never Back Down came out. And like me, Dan, Rob might have been there. We were all in the movie theaters, and that we watched that movie, and we wanted to go fight those kids again. But point of that story is when we when we thought we were tough at uh, at Synergy. Remember when we would do the the never back down workouts? <laughs> we'd be punching each other's abs. <laughs> we'd be standing there. Th- I'd be standing there with my arms over my head, and Mario would be punching me in the abs. And we, weren't we like throwing like medicine balls off each other's like abs medicine and shit balls too? Balls off the abs too. I wonder Those were pe- good times. I wonder if people still do that. Yeah. Ba- it's do. crazy what Bally's turned into, though, isn't it? Like, What is it, IHOP now? It, yeah, it's my dad's favorite spot, IHOP. It's, um, they have the, the Izumi. Oh, how was, uh, how was Mama's for your dad's birthday? Oh, Mama's was great, man. Everyone keeps saying, like, even my mom, she's like, oh, it's under new management. It's under new management. I'm like, what, the, what does, what that, does even that even mean? Yeah, what does that even mean? That? Like, is it still good? It's fantastic. It was fantastic. I mean, the guy, and they, like, the, you know, I don't really drink wine. But the guy was like, you know, we spent so much money there on all, on all these meals. The guy was like, oh, you guys drink wine. And me. We spent so much money there. So, no, we did. No, that night. It, like, I went and I paid. I'm like, holy S. That's what, I'm, that's what this is running me tonight. <laughs> but the guy's like, oh, you guys drink wine? And I was, and I don't really drink wine. But, like, I was like, yeah, of course you drink wine. And then he's like, red or white? And I fucking panicked. And I was just like, white. Oh, <laughs> I know, I know. I walked it in. And my mom was like, that's the wine you went with? What's oh, no. uh, Mama, Mama's is good though, man. Mama's what's the good. most money you've ever spent on a first date? Mine's bad. Mine's so bad. I don't, <laughs> including I don't, tip. Including tip. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't really remember. Fucking seven hundred dollars. Where at seven hundred dollars? Where at? <laughs> <laughs> Rob just dropped his lighter there. Yeah, I mean, you got you had to get it. You had to get something else after dinner. But uh, yeah, after tip seven hundred, I couldn't believe it. Seven hundred. So I, I sat at a table that the minimum is usually a thousand, but I got a deal. But I went into it knowing I was deal. getting a deal, but I didn't know how much that deal was going to be. You got that homie price for seven hundred bucks. She looks at me. She's like, "When are they going to stop bringing out food?" I was like, "I have no fucking clue." <laughs> oh, what were you doing? Just like a. Uh, like- it was like your wine pairings. Oh, it was okay. the chef's table. Where were you? Where were you? Uh, I was at uh, Two Spring. You love Two Spring, man. Love Big Two Spring, guys. Food's great there. Food is great. It's like American, but it's fucking... Uh, it's American, but 
it's got like a little touch of a little a few different areas. You know, like some Mediterranean, some Mexican, some Asian. It's really, really good. I was fucking eating caviar. I never ate caviar in my life. Caviar's good. Oh my god, Caviar's it's okay. Really good. I don't know. It still freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I, I used to be a huge texture guy, but. No, I'm still I, a huge sexual guy. You yeah. know this. We sit down for sushi. It's still a struggle for no, me. No, I know. You're, you're making moves. Right. You're making moves. I'm actually going to. Uh, I'm going to a restaurant after this. Pul- uh, Pulcinella. In, oh, over there in, in Merc Mas- or Mas- Masapico. Masapico. Yeah, you been? No, I only. I've heard good things though. Yeah, I've heard real. Good I think things. my boss loves that place. You think I can wear this? No, bro. Stop with the hoodie all the time. It's fucking cold out. Yeah, but you wear a jacket. You take it off when you get there. You have a put a nice collared shirt on for Pulcinellas. Yeah. And you haven't even been. How do you know? I, it's an Italian spot. Nobody wants to watch you eating in your sweatshirt. Why are you watching me eat anyway? Just let me eat in peace. You ever see, uh, well, you, you don't like The Sopranos, but that part kills me when Tony makes the guy take the hat off in the restaurant. They're in like a nice Italian restaurant. He goes over and makes him take the hat off. Uh, what season is that? I don't know the season. You got to know the season. I got, I got up to season three, episode five, and I was done. I was done with it. Your, I'm a, your taste in TV is just. I am actually about, to, I'm about to finish The Wire. Which is like really, really upsetting. I've been putting that, I've been putting that down for like the last three weeks, five seasons. Really good show. There's a reason it's all time. There's a reason it's, you know everyone says it's top three. I would probably say top five, but it's uh, it's it it's sad that it's over. I have like a half hour left. In the, I don't know if I could trust someone that says it's top five that doesn't like The Sopranos. The Sopranos doesn't even I, in my in my book it doesn't even crack the top ten. I think you got to give it. A, you got to give it another chance. I've given it. Are to you f- fully immersing yourself in the cinematic experience, bro? I like it's some- one of those where like you you can't like be looking at your phone and watching at the same time. Like I'm big on like if someone's gonna talk to me while I'm watching, I'm pausing it, pausing it. You got to take in the facial expressions, the little one liners under their breath. It's the whole experience. It's one of those movies. To me, Sopranos reminds me so much, not just because it's Italian, it reminds me so much of Goodfellas. Because every time I watch Goodfellas, I either find something interesting or find out find something else funny when I watch it. Like just it's just great, great artwork. I hear you. Great artwork, huh? Yeah. No, I hear you. Um no, I don't know what I'm looking for in that. Um, I guess for me, it's more or less I'm expect I was expecting Sopranos like to be like Bang bang, fucking left and right. It's a it's a drama. It, there's, yeah. there's no like no, but there, it but it, that's the whole thing. It's not just action and violence and sex. It's it's a mixture of everything. You know, they tie in addiction. It's it's the whole experience. So when I was in the sauna, we were going back to the sauna. Back to the oh, sauna. Let's hear, let's hear so, about it. So first off, you should know that I'm pretty sure there's people that just stopped using the sauna at my gym because I'm pitching the podcast every fucking time. I got sweat dripping down every crevice of my body. I'm like, hey, you listen to podcasts? Why don't you check mine out? Literally, I, I, I'm a, I get subscribers in there. But anyway, I don't like you. I don't like you. Just said every crevice. I don't know. Well, because I got the rolls now. I, the way <laughs> the way that came out, you were too confident about your crevices. It's like every crevice. Sweat. Ugh. Yeah, ugh. So 18-year-old kids were sitting in there. They're talking about girls or whatever. And, you know, like, you always try to, like, feel like a young dog again, you know? Like, get, get that dog, dog back get in you, you know? Again. Like, I can roll with the young boys. And they're talking about this girl, and they're like, yeah, she's chopped. I'm like, is that? I was like, I had I had to interrupt you, you, them. You I had to interrupt them. I was like, listen. <laughs> I was like, oh, chopped is like, what is that? Like, the new beat? They're like... Yeah, yeah, kind of. So, like, if a girl's beat, she's chopped now, just so you know. So I hope you know that those kids are going home, and they're going to high school today, and they're like, yo, that girl Amanda, she's fucking beat, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you, might, you might have brought that back for him. Maybe. She's beat street. Be- if, if you said beat street while you have sweat running down every crevice of your body, they'd probably walk out. Yeah, no, I, I didn't say that. I yeah. definitely didn't Wait, say especially that. Especially with that stash? Oh, no. I- yo, not for nothing. The stash is strong. You like that? Re- I, have you been like grooming it, or isn't that like part of the rules of no, of Movember? You can't really touch it, right? No, I, I did. I did start early, but I I've been doing those things on my personal page where I, I wanted to start with a strong mustache. Um, I mean, listen, I, I don't need to prove to anyone that I can grow a mustache. It's not like I needed to start fresh. Like, I've had a grizzly beard for a while, yep. so I've had the stash. But uh, just 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 you know, I just your typical shaving. I I don't. This is, I haven't touched it. I haven't, like, scissored it, nothing. I um, scissored it? <laughs> <coughs> do you do butt blasters at the gym? Butt blasters? Would, like, is that too girly? Would you, so would you do the hip thrust machine 
And would you do the butt blaster machine? Oh, man. I I think I would rather do both. Like, I probably wouldn't do the butt blasters. I don't have any yeeks over here, so I'm... I'm no, I'm, I'm, I'm caked I, Yeah, up. I know you're caked up. I get it. But <laughs> I'm staying away from the butt blaster machine, if that's even what it's called. And then the hip thruster, if I'm going to do that, I would probably do it on the Smith machine, just so I don't look like... Oh, okay. You, you would go with the... Yeah, yeah, I would, I would take the, I would take. No, 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 no. I'm no, talking about no, hip no. thrust, the hip. Yeah, the hip thrust, the thrust. Yeah, yeah. He's talking that. Bang, bang, bang. that. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I got, I got a couple scenarios for you here. I would never do butt, butt blasters. Is the one when you're like this. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's actually that's 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 good, form. that's well, that's good range, good, good range. Stop that. That's good range of motion. Are those stretch jeans? I don't know what these are. These are like. These are work jeans. You look, you look, tonight, today, you look like you're 46. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to looking 52 in a tracksuit? I don't know. Like, what? But, oh, so, God. like, the butt blaster? Great fucking workout. It hits the glutes unlike any other. And so, but I never do it. If the gym is packed, I never do it. But, like, a, a few weeks ago, like, it was like. Why, you'd be embarrassed? Yeah. One, because, like, I got cake. Two, it's girly. But, so a few weeks ago, the gym was about to close, and no one was in there. So I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'm doing the butt blaster. I was fucking hammering that shit. How much weight? I don't remember, but if I felt the burn. No, actually, it was. I was embarrassed at how low the weight was. Not only was I embarrassed I was doing butt blasters, I was embarrassed how low the weight was. And, like, I can feel the struggle in my, like, tendons, in my hip, in my... Because, you know, I got a bad hip, but... <laughs> So then the hip thrusters, <laughs> I'm at the gym. Do you have a bad hip? I do. I have a torn labrum in my hip. I didn't even know you had a labrum in your hip, which is crazy. <laughs> you do. Look it up. Rob's giving me the look. You have a labrum in your hip. Look it up. Read a book. So Rob's got the strong mustache going over here, too, by the way. Yeah, Rob. That's he, been for a minute, though. Yeah. Well, that's the only thing he's got going for his face. <laughs> <laughs> so hip thrusters, I'm with my girlfriend uh, at the gym. and uh, It's two episodes in a row, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> two episodes. I told in a row. you she was my girlfriend. I we know this. It's just hey, two Rob's episodes, acting surprised. Two episodes in a row. He hasn't brought. He hasn't said the word cannabis in a really long time. Now it's just girlfriend, <laughs> and she's great. We love her. Wow, I appreciate that. Yeah, that we're at, we're cutting that out. <laughs> no, uh, hip thrusters. She did more weight than me, so I'll never do hip thrusters again. She looked at me. She's like, "Are you kidding me? That's all you can do?" I was like, "Yeah, I, one. I've never used this machine. I'm putting this fucking seatbelt on. My fucking knees are shaking. I'm going up. I'm like, I just saw. It's twice. It's twice. I just saw, you know, forty fives on each side. I'm like, let me clip on and throw up the hips, dude. I was struggling. I'll never do it again. She's like, forty fives on each side is a lot. She's like, get off, get off. She's like, she gets in, she straps herself. She's like, throw another forty five on each side. I'm like, okay, and she just fucking hammered it. I was like, damn. Maybe you should fuck me tonight. <laughs> Did you have a belt on? <laughs> Did I have a belt on? To tuck your cock? <laughs> Mine doesn't reach the belt. <laughs> oh, so she did more weight than you, huh? Yeah, no, she's strong. She's got a good... She has a... She's. You see, I got a good base. She's well, got a good base. Well, they said that in Australia. That was one of the funniest things ever. When, when Hardy looked at you and he's like... This kid's got a good base. I looked at him like, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Australia is great because, like, Man. It, it's so, when you're with the boys, literally all I did was get picked on, and I still had a great time. The, the best time ever. I showed up with a polo on, and they're like, hey, Carlton, what's up? Yo, it was, it, I remember that polo, bro. <laughs> that was like a purple. It wasn't, just a, it wasn't just a purple polo. It had the stripes going up and down. Like, it wasn't like yeah, a, yeah. That yeah. was That was OD polo season for you. I looked good. It, was that the night that you didn't make it out? No, that's the first night. That's the night when, you know, I had to fly 21 hours to get you laid because you hadn't get laid yet since I got there. Prove it. No, my wingman skills are Keep that. undeniable. Admit it. No, yeah, your wingman skills are great. Um, speaking of Australia, man, we, we were at the UFC event this weekend. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, Maddie, had, Maddie took a tough loss. You know, great fighter in Benoit St. Denis. You know, he's called the God of War for a reason. Proved it. Um, you know, Maddie's still getting a great reception from all the fans. Respect out of Maddie oh, too with the salute. They saluted each other. Yeah, I love that. Dude, on Veterans Day. It was it was honestly it was so awesome to be in the crowd because you know, even though he lost, you know, you're still sitting there. I'm sitting there, you know, head in my hands, but like 
after the fight, everyone's still like, yo, we love this kid, man. Like, yeah. he, he's, like the salute was the icing on the cake for everybody. Winner Lewis is a class act. He's a great guy. Yeah. Awesome family. You know? Exactly. But, you know, we, so we, I'm part of the media in there now, which is pretty cool. And I met, I, we got to do the ESPN Mixer on Friday. It was over at Jack Dempsey's, man. It was pretty cool. Jack Dempsey's, first of all, it was huge. You know, three floors, four floors maybe. We had like the third floor bar. Um, you know, met a couple of dudes, uh, David Potter, you know, and uh, my boy from Australia, uh, Matt Davies, you know, who's been sending me pictures to make for, for our reels, man, which we really appreciate. Um, you know, he's, he was from Australia. So right away we hit it off and like, you know, he sends me all these pictures and it says, journo photos. Do you know how I remember like in Australia? Everything was just, oh, at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, I feel like I'm right back with the boys, bro. It, 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 was, it was nice. It was cool. Those parmas were good there. That's what they called like their fat ass chicken parms. Yeah, it was just called parmas. Yeah, it was a chicken parm. It was, had, it was just a giant chicken parm. It's short. It, they have a they have a short thing for everything. Like, yeah, like a, like a shorter way of saying everything. So to me, Australia was just like America, except you drive on the opposite side of the road, and where we have a McDonald's in every corner, there's a fucking UFC gym on every corner. That's what I felt like. Everywhere you look, there's an MMA gym. Yeah, they did have a lot of gyms. They best did. best paella I ever had. At Phillip Bay. At Phillip Island. Uh, Phillip Island. No, no, no. What's the bay we went to there? The bay you took me the first day. Oh, man. Was that with the penguins? No, no. Phillip Island had the penguins. Quick, as soon as we landed, I want to go in the water. You took me. Oh, right over by where we, by where we were yeah. living. I don't even know what the name of that place was. You good over there? I, we're going we're gonna to look, look it up, but I think it was Phillip Bay. Rob, if you can, in the meantime, can you look up Phillip Bay? God, yo, where were we living, though? That's the biggest. Oh, you were li- Fuck, it's on the tip of my tongue. Ah. I'll get it. Damn. But, you know, Australia has the, the, some crazy animals. And I, I can't really hit you with any Australian animal facts. Port Phillip Bay. Port Phillip Bay. Yes. That's sure. it. See, I got a good memory. Yeah, Port Phillip. Wow, right here. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Yo, that bay. Yeah, I did. I did. But yo, that bay. It was high the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that bay was. It was. You know, I'm, I'm not too fond of the water, especially water that I can't see. And in this bay, you could see everything. It was warm as fuck. Which, yeah, but not for nothing. I think. I think being able to see everything made it like scarier for me. You think so, dude? There was times when I would go in that water, and like they always made fun of me because I didn't have a, have a bathing suit. I would just wear. I would just wear like, you know. Um, he'd be wearing his N1 shorts Yeah, yo, literally, like <laughs> Michael Jordan shorts and shit um, I would go in Because it was so fucking hot I would go in just to cool off Two minutes I'd feel something like Fucking touch me Out Done Like box jellyfish They have all that shit bro I mean Shark nets Remember when we were at, at uh, Bondi Beach Yeah no that's crazy Dude So first of all We're at Bondi Beach And we had no idea There's a show called Bondi Rescue We're looking around There's helicopters Every what Two minutes going by and they're just looking for sharks. The water's freezing. The waves are humongous. We're like, why the fuck would we swim here? So I'm not a big ocean guy to begin with. And this kid, so we're on the Bondi Beach to Kuji Beach walk. It's a, <sighs> it's a quick, it's an easy walk that they have there. Just all along the it, water, some cliffs. You think that was easy? Yeah. It oh, was just a little dude. hot and my backpack was uncomfortable. But <laughs> every time we got to a little like inlet or something like that where you can go in the water, this kid looks at me. He's like, you coming in? I was like, no. I was like, there's one thing I know about Australia. It's like... Other than Cape Cod, Africa, South Africa, it's like prime time for great whites. Absolutely. I'm not, I'm not, I went in the bay, happily went in the bay. No shot. I was going in the water with you. I'm just looking. I'm, I, I honestly didn't take my eyes off of you when you were in there because I was ready to, I thought it was going to be chomp. Bro. Well, I guess thank you for that. But that's, you're, uh, on, you're on your own. I wasn't dude, dying with no, you. No, it was so, it was so cold in that water, man. I was. I had to go in real quick. Oh. Just say I went in. The difference between the ocean and the bay there, ridiculous. Nah, that was, yeah. So we got, we got Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, well, real quick, I'm going to talk about Thanksgiving in Australia because they don't really, they don't really celebrate it there. They don't really celebrate? It's not an Australian they, they, holiday. A lot of Americans do live over there. So, especially in Melbourne. So Melbourne. What the fuck is Melbourne? Melbourne? I said Melbourne. It's, it, that's how we say it. That's how I say it, all right? Um, so they... <laughs> I, I it was weird because I celebrated like by myself, like first time ever, and like doing Thanksgiving, and they don't really do turkey in Australia. 
There wasn't like much turkey to eat. So I'm going to say this now. Uh, the turkey's overrated. You if think? your gravy's not good, there's no sense in me having turkey. Okay, so I was actually getting to this. What is your favorite like part of a Thanksgiving meal? Because we are we're gonna do an episode next week. We're gonna do a Friendsgiving episode. Um, we're favorite be, part, food wise. Yeah. Because oh. we got to think there's gonna be five of us. We're gonna make a full meal. I'm actually gonna go get all the stuff tonight. Um, I gotta get a turkey. You gotta get a turkey. No, no. It, you, you for tradition, you gotta get a turkey. I would feel un-American if I didn't get a turkey. In terms of food, <laughs> it's. I mean. My favorite part is whatever meat my mom's making in addition to the turkey. <laughs> yeah, right. That's usually my favorite part. When she gets a nice, if she gets a nice roast, oh man, yeah, for Christmas last year, she got this nice roast. Oh my God, it was just tender and juicy. And give me, give me red meat over any fucking bird, man. Red meat over any fucking bird. I love, so my Uncle Billy makes... A crazy lasagna. Oh, his Uncle Billy is like one of the coolest people in the world, by the way. That's absolutely He'd right. still fuck Franco up at 60 years old. <sighs> I'm not even going to turn that down because I don't want to hear him if I say I wouldn't. You don't want to hear him. Like, it w- like, honestly, it wouldn't even be close. We'll see. You got a big head, and his fist is the size of your head, bro. <laughs> My head's going this way, <laughs> and his fist is going this way. <laughs> Oh, man. No, so I'm actually excited for that episode. Um, there's going to be, I guess we can call it a special guest coming on the episode. Friendsgiving? Yeah. Special guest coming on the Friendsgiving episode? Well, my mom, we can cut this, but yeah, my mom wants to cook. Dude, so oh, yeah. We'll, we'll let her speak a little bit. Yeah. We won't, we won't, we won't tell you too much about Lori, but uh, she's, she's a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a fun one. Um. I know Australia, I was saying before, has, like, some crazy animals. Like, obviously, most of the animals live in the uh, the outback, which you really don't venture into. Nope. Um, and do you know, other than insects, do you know which animal has the highest percentage of successful hunts? Ex- except for what? It, not, in- not including insects. Ooh. I don't fuck with insects. Oh, successful hunt, not insects. I'll give you one hint. It's not a lion. And it's gotta be in it's gotta be Australia, so you can go on that route. So I would go like I'm not a, gonna tell you which continent. Like a wild dog. No way. Yeah? But you're thinking Australian, you're thinking of a dingo. Yeah, a dingo. No. It's Damn. the African wild dog. Eighty five percent of the time they get a kill. Damn. Wait, so they're in Africa though? Yes, it's an African wild dog. It's it's Yeah, dude. We're talking about Australia. No, 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 I was just talking about animals in general. Oh, in general. Oh my god. Yeah. That's the African wild dog. But I'll give that to you because that's crazy. The African wild dog, think about it. 85% of the time. A, a, a tiger, under 10%. If I went upstate and got a kill less than 10% of the time, I would hang it up. I would sell all my guns. You going hunting next weekend, aren't you? Next weekend, baby. I can't wait. What are you hunting for? Uh, it's deer season, so it's actually next weekend. It's uh, it's opening opening weekend with the gun. You look like you're ready to hunt. I'm ready, baby. I got, I, fu- I, I got a fucking. What is that? Don't even don't even give me a gun. What it's is- o- it's opening weekend. I'm ready to climb on the back of a deer, grab the antlers, and rip the fucking heart out myself. No, I'm ready. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Rob's looking at me. He's like, yo, Pete is going to be on this. You got to cut that. I'm kidding. Bro, that would be nuts. Could you imagine? No, I mean, I'm, I'm imagining right now. And Did you see, what was that, on, on Joe Rogan or something? The, the the guy told a story about how a bear, they had no idea. They were, like, setting up camp or something. Grizzly attacks their camp, talking like, he, the way he tells the story, there's, like, like claws inches from his face, like swap, like swa- uh, swipes, and one of the guys somehow ended up on the back of the bear. They obviously wasn't riding him. Eventually, like easily got <laughs> thrown off, you know. But it's so one way or another gets on the back of a bear. What was his name? Any idea? Uh, dude, I'm so bad with names. Oh, but I guess man, what my that's... question is: 
what's your overall like how many seconds are you lasting on the back of a grizzly bro that's a wild question on the back of a grizzly, I simply don't know how good are they at turning around and getting you off their like. Are, they're not going like this and pulling you down. They have no. They have no. No. They have no hands. They have no fingers. Well, well, yeah, they have fingers. They have you, paws. They don't have fingers. See, you ever see a? You ever see a bear? Like the the picture of the bear where it's uh without without any hair, like where it's hairless. It's just, it looks like a rat. It's one of the scariest things. It's ever. a big rat. Yeah. I'm how gonna, many seconds? Grizzly. Grizzly, bro. I'm. You have to understand, like. Remember when you on Freshman Friday, back in whatever year that was, when when that black pickup pulled up when on the, the adrenaline corner, hit, and you just and these kids didn't even have a second to get out of the car, and this kid is that, that was way. slow oh, at you, that point in our life. You were running in quicksand down the sidewalk on Gardner's Avenue, but I'm telling you right now, I was out. I am never putting myself in a situation to be on the back of a grizzly bear. So zero seconds. Why? How many seconds would you last? I would be I would be running the opposite direction of that grizzly bear. Like, Wait, aren't you supposed to play dead for a grizzly bear? Well, first of all, don't even bother running, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, running, running, fucking, bro. Like I'm skiing. So I, I'm pretty sure it's black, fight back, brown, lay down, white, good night. So yeah, uh, yo, I've seen polar bears fight at the at the zoo up in like in Australia. <laughs> that was, yo, in the water. <laughs> I have a I have a video of it on my phone. One of the wildest things I've ever seen. Well, you they pull whales out of the water. Yeah, no, they they I didn't realize how big those bears were. But so for a grizzly bear, isn't that a brown bear? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Lay so, down. Yeah, lay but down. I said don't run. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, don't run why? Because they're just so fast. Oh yeah, you're not outrunning them. And they can climb. Trees You've never too, seen right? the videos of people on quads and the bear running alongside them? No. You ever see the video of the people fucking in the boat and the hippos swimming? Yeah. That is a nightmare. They're very territorial, and you know they kill more people every year than lions. Damn, you know your stats, huh? I do. I was a big Animal Planet Discovery Channel kid growing up. You know, when Rob used to make fun of me before I had friends. <laughs> Yo, you remember the, the first thing I remember? There's two things I remember watching at your, at your parents' house when we were younger. I bet you can name both of them right now. One's a movie, and one was a documentary. I'll give you that. One was a movie, and one was a documentary. Borat? No. No? What's the movie? Click. Click? Really? No, I remember. The, the movie I remember is Click. I remember it being the funniest movie. And then you bawling your eyes out. Me, I was fucking holding that back. So what gets a lot of people is when he's laying in the rain and it's raining on him. But that's not what gets me. When Why do they have to replay the, I love you, son? Yeah. I love you, son. <laughs> I'm fucking bawling my eyes out. Yep. No, you're so right. What's the documentary? Um, the one with the parasites. It was called Par. I'm pretty sure it was called Parasite. Remember the guy was like st- like standing in the river taking a piss, and the thing went right up. No way, that was, yo. That I will never forget. Like the tapeworms and shit like that. Oh man, I could I. Oh my yeah no so for what I I know exact documentary the guy's wife has to pull the tapeworm out of his oh, asshole. He, well. Yes, he was taking the shit, and it just kept coming out, and she just kept decided to just finally just keep pulling and pulling and pulling. <sighs> Dude, imagine that. I know things usually go in your ass, but <laughs> yours, but <fun. laughs> the fuck out of here. <laughs> but yeah, he's pissing in like some Amazonian river, and the parasite goes over his fucking into his pee hole. Fuck that, dude. Are you? Cr- that's in, that's that can't happen. I, you have to be. Th- I I would rather. I swear to God, I think... Uh, did, that, did that kill him? No, no. It probably had some other effect on him. Maybe like, you know, uh, so I, I feel like parasites usually drain your energy or steal your nutrients or maybe give you flu-like symptoms sometimes at the worst. I don't know. I don't know how many parasites actually kill you. We would have to look that up. Yeah. I was about to say, I'd rather get shot than have that. Well, well, maybe. I mean, at the same time, would you rather get shot or have that fucking happen to you? Like shot somewhere where it doesn't really like... It's killing me because on the way home from work today, I'm listening to fucking Many Men, and I'm like, man, if I could just get shot and live, like, how much that would hurt help the podcast? 
<laughs> like oh, I'm ready man. to take a fucking bullet for bro, this shit, bro. You are going hunting this weekend. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. Oh man. Imagine Big Ralph ping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pay Big Ralph, dude. My dad's sleeping in the street same most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little vacation for Big Ralph. <laughs> he's like, he's like, man. I don't, know, you know, I don't care if I see anything or not. You know, just being in the woods. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> dude, one time, scaring, one time. scaring all the deer. <laughs> One time we're in a blind looking for turkeys. You see, he's snoring, scared the deer away. Exactly. We're we're in a blind looking for turkeys, and there's a no. We're not even in a blind. We're just against a tree in in cover, and he's on one side of the tree. I'm on the other side of the tree. He looks at me. He goes, "All right, you look that way. I'll look this way." <laughs> I have a picture on my phone. <laughs> I look back. He's sleeping. <laughs> what what fucking help is that, bro? Your dad kills me, man. Oh Did, my god. You remember when we used to go fishing out of cap tree? No, that was pure love. Bro, well, you don't understand. I had no fun doing that. I would be so Neither did he. I would be so but sick. But he still did it every time. Yeah, he did it. We did it every time. It made no sense. Man, he every time we'd be he knew he was going to get sick, but he knew that we loved to go fishing and you would, the whole boat would be looking at us because you could hear my dad. Yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> just just throw shop, it up. Just fucking. Oh shop, my god! Man. But Rob's looking at us. He's like, "Speed this shit up. You got to get it done." So I'm gonna hit you with one more question before we go. Do it. Tell me your your first experience on shrooms. Oh man! So I actually did it back in college. It was I. So we were out at the bar, and I came home. There was a couple couple dudes that actually weren't on the team, uh, down in the basement, and they were just every team just got the druggy group that hooks them up. Yeah, well, I mean, they weren't like the drug group. They were all good kids. Um, they're still friends of mine now, which is great. You know, still keep, still keep in contact with these kids. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, back then, back then it was definitely more frowned upon than it was. Than well, now the, the now. difference with shrooms now is like it's very well known that like from uh, positive trips, people are reversing uh, negative effects of mental illness, which is yeah, pretty yeah. cool. No, it's it's a great. It really is a great, you know, medicine. Yeah. Um, for me, uh, I actually came back. I was actually drunk when I did it the first time, and I ate an eighth. And I've only eaten an eighth one time since then. But uh, I was tr- we were tripping really good for. How'd like, you my- eat it? Straight. I just ate the bag. You're not one of those like I need a peanut butter sandwich. No, I was like I said, man, I was drunk. I just walked in there like, yo, you want this? I'm like, I gotta throw a bullpen in the morning, but sure. And we just threw them in and. Um, I just I, tr- I had a great time for the first like hour hour and a half, and then this kid I didn't know one of the I didn't know one of the kids first time I ever meeting him, he's like curled up in the blanket under the bed I'm like seeing shit come out of the fucking speaker with the music, and I look at my boy I'm like yo what if that happens to me, and he looks at me he's like yo go for a walk, yeah get out of that headspace yeah, so I I literally went for a walk outside it was it was pretty fu- I remember it was pretty cold first time I saw I saw like what a tree actually looks like, and. We walked all, I walked all the way around the block, came back. This kid was gone, which was the best part. I walked in, I was like, I'm ready, dude. <laughs> so I, we hung out for a little bit, and then I actually got, I got stuck in the bathroom. I was, take, I was taking a piss, and, I, and they had actually, like, pictures all over the wall, like, trippy pictures in the basement. And I'm standing there taking a piss. I'm like, oh, my God. I must have been in there for, like, to me, what felt like an hour. Maybe it was probably 15 minutes. One of the kids like, yo, Franco. And I was like, out of the bathroom, like, yo, you saved me. <laughs> like, but, and, then we, and then we just watched a couple movies, and one of, it, was, it, was, it was actually a good time. Nice, nice. But now, now I'm a micro. I like micro dosing, man. It's, well, that's what I was going to say is, you, uh, I, you know, I've never done a full-on trip before, but I've done micro dosing. Tell your first time. <laughs> my first Tell time. your first time, please. <laughs> So my first time, we're at a little like indie music festival in North Carolina, and we go to the bathroom, and Franco's in the stall next to me, and I'm taking a piss. There's so many people in this bathroom, and I just go, bro, why is my dick purple? <laughs> I'm, I'm pissing in the stall next to me. I'm like, bro, stop speaking. Like, we're like, the well, only ones here, here doing that. We're the only ones here doing this, bro. We're all sitting in lawn chairs. Maybe we weren't. But, like, bro, one of, like, well, the kid that we were with, bro. Oh, yeah. Josh's friend. Yeah. We don't have to bring that up. He had a, he had a great time for a little bit. Um, but, man, that was, that was such a great time. What was that called? Um, Farm Aid. Farm Aid. Farm Aid. Yeah. yeah. Rally, North Carolina. That was a great time. Yeah. But that's all we got for you today. 
That's it. And I'm going to say it like Franco says it. There's always an open seat for you at the oven. Yes, sir. Keep it cooking in the oven. 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 The oven.